Welcome back to week three, Data Warehouse and BigQuery. In this video, we are going to talk about internals of BigQuery. You generally don't have to know the internals of BigQuery to use it. If you know the best practices, clustering and partitioning, you can very well use BigQuery without its internal knowledge. Although it might help you uh, in building a data product in the future, if you understand the internals of a uh, of a data warehouse solution such as BigQuery. BigQuery stores our data into a separate storage called Colossus. Colossus is generally a cheap storage which stores the data in a columnar format. This has a big advantage. Because BigQuery has separated the storage from compute, it has significantly less cost. If your data size increases tomorrow, you generally only have to pay for the storage in Colossus, which is generally, which is very cheap. You, the most uh, cost occurred is while reading the data or doing the queries or running the queries itself, which is basically compute. And that's why separating these two parts has a lot of advantages for BigQuery. This big, brings a big question. Because the compute and storage are on different uh, on different hardware, how do they communicate with each other? If the network is very bad, it will result in high query time. This can be a very big disadvantage. And that's where Jupyter network comes into place for BigQuery. The Jupyter network is inside BigQuery data centers and provides a, approximately one terabyte per second network speed. This has a huge advantage now because now you can actually have compute and uh, your storage on a separate hardware altogether and you can easily talk without any delays uh, over the Jupyter network. The third part of uh, BigQuery internal is Dremel. This is the query execution engine. It generally divides your query into a tree structure and separates your query in such a way that each node can execute an individual subset of the query. But before moving ahead, let's first look into columnar and record-oriented storage. So as you can see on the left-hand side, uh, this is our record-oriented storage, which we can, which uh, with row R1 and R2. This is very similar to structure, or something similar to structures like uh, CSV, uh, and, and they are easy to process and understand. On the right-hand side, you can see the column-oriented structure in which row R1 and R2 can be seen in multiple places with respect to the column C, D, and E. BigQuery uses column-oriented structure. This actually provides a huge gain. Column-oriented uh, storage actually uh, helps us to provide better aggregations on columns. And generally, when we are uh, using BigQuery or data warehouse solution, we do not query all the columns in one uh, at one time. The general requirement is to query a few columns uh, and filter and aggregate on different ones. Let's look into how Dremel actually works. Let's assume you have a query select A, uh, count B uh, from your table D uh, when you are grouping by column A. When BigQuery root server receives this query, it understands it and knows how to divide it into smaller submodules. So in our case, the select A count B query becomes select A sum C, and it divides the query further into R1 to R1N. As you can see in the next step, the mixers generally get the modified query, which is then further divided into uh, other subqueries uh, or other subset of queries and given to leaf nodes. The leaf nodes are the one which actually query or actually talk to the Colossus database, uh, fetches the data, uh, 
executes uh, appropriate operations on top of that and returns the data back to uh, mixers, which then in return uh, return to uh, root servers and the data is aggregated and returned as a result. The distribution of workers here actually is the reason why BigQuery is so fast. If this was not done, if all the work had to be done on a particular node, it will cause a very high query time with respect to increase in data sizes. Because uh, BigQuery is smart enough to divide uh, the query into smaller chunks and uh, propagate them to the leaf nodes is, is one of the biggest reasons that BigQuery is so fast. I have also attached a couple of references to BigQuery documentations and papers. Uh, I would highly encourage you to read them. Some of them talk about Dremel internals. Some of them talk about BigQuery internals in general. Um, and it might be very interesting for you to take a look into it.